Yeah, it's a, it's a fair period. Obviously, if you, if you don't play finals, um, you've got a fair bit of time to watch some footy, but not be involved too much. So most of the coaches have had a, a good uh, refreshing break. Players have done the same. Uh, you find they're, they're really eager to get back these days, as opposed to a few years ago where it sort of took a bit to get them back. But they've been sort of coming in dribs and drabs the last week or so anyway. So good to start, uh, start finally, though. Uh, all good, yeah. I mean, it's not just not a not a concern. The only concern we've got really now is when they overtrain and do too much. So they're on a really strict program. They all set to it, uh, stick to it. They're really professional now. So yeah, as I said, the only thing you can worry about really is that they do too much and get stress injuries when they're away from the club. So they've all come back pretty well. It's, it's fitness for a start and just getting them used to kicking the footies. You know, there's been different philosophies as to whether you kick the footies from day one or whether you run for two months. Um, we want to get the, the balls in their hands and getting a little bit of conditioning whilst you know, getting some ball work and a little bit of style and, and style of play as well. So it's just the first step in, in a marathon, I suppose. So in order to do that, you've got to, got to put one foot in front of the other. Greg, the set up well? Uh, it hasn't started yet, but um, yeah, we'll be good. Just we'll add to our midfield mix. Um, you know, really big body, strong runner, um, can use the footy. So hopefully, can release some of our um, our uh, better users of the footy. Him getting it inside, and getting it outside to, to, to some better users. So we're uh, really excited about getting to come on board. As, mid, as midfield coach, you'd be fairly happy to get another big, decent sized body in there, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, there's, yeah. It's, um, yeah, we certainly targeted him. We're, we're sad to, to, lose, to lose Andy Collins, but Carlton were interested in him, and in the end, it was sort of Andy's choice to go. So hopefully, um, hopefully, we see it as a win-win for both clubs. And Basher Hooling, uh, any word from him as to whether he's committed to the club? Is he, is uh, certainly keen to come. Yeah, certainly keen to come to the club. So we've still got to wait for the pre-season draft to, to officially get that done. But um, yeah, certainly he's indicated he's keen to keen to come to Richmond. What's the feel of Brad Miller? What could he offer the club? Just some experience. We're um, as I just said, we're a really, really young group. Uh, we've got a young forward line. He's, uh, he's played some footy. Uh, outstanding character, outstanding leader. We just think he can help Rewalt and Griffiths and these sort of guys and, and, and play some footy. I don't think we expect him to play 22 games here, but you know, as I said, and, and that's still, that's still got to be done. Uh, we, can, we can rookie list him, so it's not really a spot on the, the list as well at, at the same time. So we certainly see some benefit in it and also some benefit for, for Brad to play some footy and, and probably become a sort of a pseudo development coach at the same time. Uh, probably bigger, Tony. Yeah. I think, yeah, yeah. I mean, certainly it's been uh, hopefully a win-win for the cricket and for, for footy that they get a, a new facility. They get two grounds next to each other. They can play their first, seconds, third, and fourths together, um, and we get a ground that we can train on 12 months of the year and walk out our front door out of a great facility and walk onto a, uh, an Eddie Head st uh, Stadium-sized ground. So it's um, yeah, it's going to be enormous for the club.